Hello to all of my DIYers, non-DIYers, and DIY enthusiasts. Welcome to the Crafty Nana channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a bunny rabbit center paste out of a wine glass. You will need the following supplies. White paint for the bunny. A different color paint for the bunny's hat. I'm using yellow. A hat of choice. I'm using a hat that I had left over from Christmas. Ribbon and Mod Podge. I'm showing some wire. I was going to use it to make the bunny's ears, but I found something easier to use. I'm going to use a bunny ear headband instead. I have a small light that I'm placing inside of the glass, white glitter that's not pictured, and yes, of course, a large wine glass. The first thing is to make sure you are starting off with a clean glass. I'm applying a liberal amount of white paint all over the glass. I'm only applying one coat of paint since I will be applying glitter over top of it. If you prefer an iridescent look, you can omit adding a base coat of paint. I sat the glass aside for about an hour to allow it to dry. Once it was dry to the touch, I mixed Mod Podge and white glitter together. Using a brush, I dabbed the mixture onto the glass. I didn't smooth it out while applying the mixture because my plan is to use the mixture to create some texture on the glass. I only applied the mixture to the top and the base of the glass. I'm trying to give the look of hair on my hair. Get it? <laughs> I decided red is not the right color for my bunny's hat. So I'm painting over the red with my yellow paint. To completely cover the red, I wound up having to apply two coats of the yellow paint. I also painted under the brim of the hat in order to give it a, you know, a finished look. It's now a day later. My bunny should be completely dry. Here comes the fun part creating my bunny's face. I'm using a heart sticker from a leftover pack of hearts from Valentine's Day, a black pipe cleaner. I'm gonna share a little secret with you. My pipe cleaner is actually white, but I painted it black. And I'm using two black stick-on gems. I'm using the pipe cleaner to create the bunny's mouth and whiskers. I folded about an inch and a half of the pipe cleaner over and then cut it. I now have approximately three inches of pipe cleaner folded in half. I curved up each side of the pipe cleaner in order to form the mouth. Before I glue the mouth onto the bunny, I need to create his nose. I'm affixing a pink heart onto the glass, which will be the bunny's nose. I'm applying a dab of glue to the glass in which I'm using to adhere the top part of the mouth. Then I'm applying a dab on either side of the mouth or the middle uh, to stick down the curved part of the mouth. You can't see what I'm doing too well here since I have the glass facing me. But once done, you will see how the pipe cleaner and the heart form the bunny's nose and mouth. I'm taking two of the black stick on gems and I'm affixing them to the glass to use as the bunny's eyes. Now you can see how my bunny's face is coming along. I hope you like it as much as I do. I'm using the leftover pipe cleaner for the bunny's whiskers. I folded the pipe cleaner in half and cut it. Then I folded the two pieces in half. I gave each of the folded ends a small little twist. I then applied a dab of glue on each of the bunny cheeks and applied the whiskers. To give the bunny a dapper look, I'm making him a bow tie. I'm using two pieces of wired ribbon, a polka dot one and a yellow. I'm folding each end over end and applying a dab of hot glue to hold each piece together. I then laid the folded pieces of ribbon on top of each other. I scrunched the middle. I hope scrunch is a real word. It's so fun to say. 
I used a piece of pipe cleaner to hold the scrunched metal together. I also used a pipe cleaner to secure the bow to the stem of the wine glass, or should I say, to my bunny's neck. I placed a white stick on Jim to the middle to hide the pipe cleaner. Now to make my bunny's hat coordinate with his bow tie. Because you know I want him to be a well-dressed bunny. I measured the ribbon around the hat. Since my ribbon is four inches wide, I folded the ribbon in half. I figured folding the ribbon would give a finished look around the edges. I then folded an end over and applied a little hot glue to hold it in place. I added a dab of glue to the other end um, and then applied a small amount of glue to the hat to hold the ribbon in place. Then I applied another dab of glue to affix the folded end of the ribbon to the hat. Now my guess what do we call this my band looks complete almost I'm going to add ears to my bunny I'm cutting the ears off of a bunny hair band that I picked up from the dollar store originally I was going to use the wire that's on my work table to make the ears stand up but once the ears were removed from the band I found that there's a piece of plastic helping the ears stand up so there was no need to use the wire to add additional support I used a little hot glue at the bottom of the ear to help hold the plastic in the ear in place. I then added a little glue to the hat and set the bottom of the ear on top of the glue. I applied a little glue to the side of the hat and pressed the side of the ear to it. This will help the ear stand up even more. I repeated the same gluing for the other ear. Once all the gluing was done, I removed the hanging glue strings. Don't you just hate those things? Now to place the bunny's hat onto his head. Not too bad so far. What do you think? Is he looking Easter ready? To kick it up a notch, I'm adding a color changing light. This was left over from my lighted Santa project. I will leave a link to the video in my description area. I am truly loving the changing colors within the bunny's head. I set my bunny on top of a glass candle holder. You know, the ones that look like a saucer? I placed a piece of green moss carpet on top of the candle holder and added some Easter eggs, a carrot, and some little clay, clay flowers. This bunny would be perfect for a coffee table, dinner table, or as a decorative accent. Happy Easter. Hi, I'm Angela, better known as Crafty Nana. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome, and I hope you will come back. If you enjoyed my video, please click like. If you want to get notified when my next video is available, please subscribe and click the notification bell. If you know someone who likes these kinds of videos, please share. Thank you for your support. And remember to add a touch of love to each crafted piece.